Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024, GSR 24, being held here in Kampala in Uganda. I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by James Claude, who is the CEO of the Global Voice Group. James, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, let me start off by asking you about your participation here at GSR 24. I believe it's your, your first GSR. Uh, I'm sure it won't be the last, I hope. Uh, it's going to be the first in many to come, and I'm very glad to be here in Kampala. Participating in GSR 24 is one of the key benefits of being an ITUD sector member. Uh, why is participating in this unique platform for discussions important to the Global Voice Group? Indeed, it's very, it's very important. It's a tremendous opportunity to meet with uh, policymakers, with regulatory bodies, with uh, uh, industry leaders. So this way we can uh, share our own experience as a company uh, working in regulatory technology field and also uh, gather from them their own experiences because uh, we, we pride ourselves to be a pioneer in regulatory technology. We've been working in Africa for the past 25 years, exclusively working with regulatory bodies for the past 15 years. Our solutions have been installed in so many countries in Africa. So having this opportunity here in Kampala to meet with other stakeholders, with other players, so we get a better sense on what is happening. This way we can be ahead of the curve and we can continue to innovate and put in place good solutions for regulatory bodies across the continent. Now, it's interesting, uh, interesting name, the Global Voice Group. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, we, we started uh, in, in the telecom field. Uh, we became one of the biggest uh, telecom providers in Africa 25 years ago. But with the, you know, the change in the market when the mobile operators started to operate in Africa, we saw an opportunity to start providing services to those regulatory bodies, so the telecom regulators. So that's how we pivoted completely. And then today we exclusively work with telecom regulators and uh, other regulatory bodies such as financial regulators. So our solutions are based on big data where we help them to bridge the gap between uh, service providers where they provide those services. You have the regulatory on the other side. We help them to speak and understand each other. So this way we can avoid, avoid a big fines and they can really understand uh, what they need to do on the service provi provider side too uh, in terms of compliance. And then on the regulatory side, we help them with, with the tools that equip them to fully monitor the compliance in that uh, uh, the, in those, in those respective sectors. Now, regulators have got their work cut out for them nowadays. Now, regulation for impact is the theme of GSR this year. In your opinion, what role uh, does industry play in the conversation with regulators, peers, and other digital stakeholders? I mean, as a, as a regulator, you have the power to break it or make it when it comes to create the right uh, regulatory environment for businesses to succeed and to benefit socioeconomically, you know, the whole, you know, ecosystem. So, I mean, just to give you a tangible example, if you look at mobile money in East Africa, in many countries in Africa, in, in Ghana, is, is, the, is the tool that is being used for financial inclusion. Uh, the regulation in those countries, they adopted like a mobile-led regulation, allowing the mobile operators to take the lead on that. In Nigeria, for, they went a different approach. They went for regulation led by uh, allowing the bank to push for that. So today in Nigeria, it's very easy for you to go and make a payment through wire transfer, uh, as opposed to in Ghana. But in Ghana, you have the ability to use mobile money for to make any type of payment. So that gives you a sense of how the approach to regulation, the way regulatory bodies um, approach a certain type of regulation can define the way services are being delivered and impact the overall um, um, in the society. On a wider note, perhaps you could elaborate a little bit about uh, uh, Global Voice Group or being part of the ITUD sector membership community. Yeah. And perhaps I can ask you, how can it support in shaping the future of digital development? Uh, definitely. If you look at this whole digital economy, data is at its center. You know, it's a cornerstone of this digital economy. And we at Global Voice Group, we are very strong when it comes to big data. And uh, one of our theme is we provide big data for better governance, where by acquiring data from different uh, infrastructure, especially the telecom infrastructure, which is the backbone on which many services are being provided, we equip the regulatory bodies with the information they need so they can monitor almost in real time whether certain regulations are effective or not. 
why wait for the end of the year to go for an audit to see whether uh, the impact of certain regulation, if the data is there. So our solution as GVG, we allow them to, in real time, collect all those information and make informed decision and make sure that the regulations are really creating an environment that can really foster development for the whole society. James Lord, CEO of the Global Voice Group, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thanks for sharing your, your very valuable insights and I look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do join us again by checking out our other interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.